Hello, in the previous video we built and deployed our full stack app with using Cloudflare serverless functions and uh, Airtable as database. So today I would like to use MongoDB instead of Airtable. Also we need to add Prisma which is a database for RAM. Here is some example how to use Prisma with Cloudflare workers but we are using functions which is actually the same. Main difference is that functions have file based routing. So let's create MongoDB Atlas account. So I already log in and um, I need to select free tier. Let's press create. So you can choose your region. I I choose this one. So create the cluster. Let's add a username, for example, admin, and auto generate password. So we can copy our password and press create user. Now we need uh, to add IP address. So where would you like to connect from? So if we add this one and uh, it allows to connect our database from any API address later in production, you might change to specific one. Now we need to get connection string so let's go to database and um, okay we need to press connect and uh, connect your application and we have this string where we need to use our password here so let's copy it so we have our connection string in the, our project and uh, we need to add password here and also we need to add name of our database so for example we call it block let's save it and we don't need this one anymore with regular Node.js and Express server you are good to go but if you are working in serverless environment for example iws lambda vercel or netlify function or in uh, our case it is cloudflare functions you need to set up connection pooling uh, for your database for example we can use prisma data proxy this is because every function uh, invocation may result uh, in a new connection to the database which will exhaust uh, the database connection limit very quickly okay so next step we need to set up Prisma and yes and Prisma generated for us folder Prisma where we have our schema and uh, also we have that environment variable but actually we don't need it here because with Cloudflare we have our dev wars so now I'll paste this code so actually uh, for Cloudflare I keep this in V very well empty and um, we have our model for newsletter this ID MongoDB provide us this ID so we just map over it and change ID with underscore with normal ID and uh, we have our email so it will be a string and unique value 
So now we need to save and push our code to remote repository. So now we need uh, to create account in Prisma. So I already have account and I create new project and uh, let's call it for example this one and import from existing repository and uh, add this one and branch main so we press next uh, I use my own database and we need to have our um, connection string uh, from uh, which we had from MongoDB pass it here and choose this one and create project Yes, we have the cell, so um, we need to set it up like it was before. Uh, so let's put it back like it was before and save it. Also, we need to commit it again and uh, push to our remote repository. So let's try one more time. Create project. Okay, so it looks like everything is good. Now we can copy our new connection string, which is this one, and use it to connect to our database. Now let's copy our new string into our project. So I created new variable. And we can delete our MongoDB URL. Now we need generate Prisma client. So actually every time you change something in your in your schema, uh, you need to generate the Prisma client. Actually we also need to keep this empty and uh, we need to generate one more time because we did change here. Let's also create one more function. So that will be our new endpoint and call it for example mongo news letter and ts. Let's go to our IP service. So we, we actually can rename it to just IP service. So we save it and yes. Also, we can delete this one for now and uh, we rename this one to a service as well. We save it and in our, um, in our home component, we need to change here as well imports. So we'll delete this one and delete this one okay also we need to save here so in our service we can duplicate this method and um, we can name it like uh, add email mongo so this time our payload will be only email so it will be easier and uh, our API will be mongo newsletter so save it now let's go to home component and add this one and actually we can comment it out so this time we will try to save our email in the mongodb so let's save it 
now we can create our function so here we need to import our prisma client also we need to define variable and uh, create our function so that's gonna be post request also we have our variables and from body we can get our email itself now we need to check if prisma client is created if not we create our prisma client with our environment variable and we can save our email to the database so let's call the saved email submitted email and uh, we need to do a wait prisma and we have after complete so this is our model like this is how we call our model and we can create also we can pass parameters here and this is gonna be our email prisma help us with this amazing after complete and it's type safe now we can send back our submitted email back to client but also we will have uh, that mongodb id also don't forget to handle errors for example here i added later error handling so you can do something similar to this one let's start our development server so in pm run dev Okay, sometimes it's happening, so you can try one more time. So first of all, let's check our database. So make sure we don't have anything yet there. So we have our collection. And nothing here. Okay, so this is our app let's open also console and let's try to add something test okay email test and let's submit okay that's because i didn't save our newly created function so let's try one more time okay sign up yes and look we have our object uh, let's go to our Mongo database, so let's update it and see what we have here. Yes, and we have our database which we name blog and we have our newsletter. Also, we need to add a couple commands in the, our package JSON, so first one is Every time we start our server, we can just generate our Prisma client and when before we do a build, we also need to generate our Prisma client. So save it. Now we can commit and push it to our repository. So every time we push our code to GitHub, we have build process but we need to change some settings so first one we need to add that uh, database url so edit variables and add variable and let's press save So actually we can add the same variable here and this is database URL as well. Okay, save. 
now let's go to build and deployments and we need edit here so now we will do npm run build cloudflare and save it so let's go to deployments and um, let's press right redeployment so we will have another build now let's now check it so press here this is our application let's set console and let's try some super like this one and sign up and it looks like it works so let's go to our database let's do refresh yeah and we have one more record with another email thank you for watching press like and subscribe